was just thinking about something, something someone said to me. Well, interesting conversation I had. And we were talking about situations, uh, current situations, current circumstances, how it affects everybody. Uh, the current circumstance, we're talking about the COVID now, but also everything to do with the COVID, how it's actually affecting everyone financially, emotionally, psychologically, and what the anticipated outcome would be individually. And so how do I see myself after COVID? What circumstance would I be facing after COVID? You know, just trying to predict the future. And throughout this conversation that I had, we arrived at different conclusions. Uh, my, my conclusion was that uh, the world would not go back to the way it was, cannot go back to the way it was. Everything has changed. Everything has changed for good. So the thing is now is about adapting to this new world that we would find ourselves in and uh, trying to make the best out of it. But in adapting to the new, it's a question of trying to anticipate what the new might be and then doing what is necessary now in order to prepare for what the new would be. Now, this requires focus, uh, use of time and energy, which uh, in the Nearly Fuller book, I always refer to this book because I really enjoy reading this book. It's a brilliant book, United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. He mentions that economics is the use of time and energy. So, uh, a statement came to my head, and I usually try not to make statements because you have to back them up, but this one came to my head, and it was like, uh, I mentioned it, it's like, you know, your circumstance, your current circumstance, is directly related to what you focus your time and energy on. So if you find yourself in a very, I mean, life is not fair. We agree. The game is rigged. Agree. You have the option of either playing the game right or playing the rigged game. Whichever way you look at it, you're going to have to play the game because that's, that's where we are. We are in the game of life. You have to play the game. You have to participate one way or the other in the game of life. And the game of life has certain rules. It's just the way it is. So now, the question is, what do I focus my time and energy on? If I focus my time and energy on accumulating information that might be useful towards setting me up for a better tomorrow, Evidently, everything I do would be aligned with that. If I focus my time and energy on my distractions, uh, trying to make myself feel comfortable, uh, and then the tomorrow comes and I have to start again, that's a, a choice that I have made myself. If I focus on, you know, being ignorant as to what is going on and... Uh, just assuming that uh, somehow things will work out well without making any effort towards things working out well, then whatever result you get is what you get. My point is, at a time like this, when things are not normal, let's call it a storm, yeah? The, I think there's a, a poem by Kipling, I don't know, something about, you know, being in the eye of the storm. There's a storm. We know the storm is here. We can see the storm all around us. But the thing is, in the midst of chaos, if you can just remain calm, because you know what the result would be. I mean, what is worse than death right now? Nothing. We will all die. So the end point is death. Now, how you die, you don't know. Well, how you live, you can pretty much predict. If we focus on how we live, that makes sense. 
And if we say, okay, fine, how we live, where we live, they're both related. So how I live, where I live is important. What I do in order to survive where I live would also set the standard of how I live. These are just my own thoughts. So if I take time and I focus on accumulating, acquiring information, whatever resource I need in order to stabilize my situation in anticipation of what is coming, then I would be better prepared for what happens when it happens. It's just a question of research. There are many people doing the same thing that I'm suggesting. Research, find out the potential of the future, and then you just prepare yourself to take advantage of that as at when the time comes. Or you find out the best way to preserve what you have and convert it to a format that would be acceptable in whatever happens in the future. You know, there, there are so many people, I mean, you're looking at financially, you, you can attribute the same thing to your psychology. You know, you can spend a lot of time now meditating and making sure that you quiet your mind. So when the future comes and everything gets busy again, you would be uh, full of, uh, you'll be revitalized. Your mind will be fresh and you'll be able to come up with new ideas. You know, you can look at it in terms of your physical form. You know, you could spend a lot of time relaxing or you can go out, go and do a lot of exercise now to get yourself strong enough. So when the busy time comes, you'll be able to cope with the strain. There's so many ways one can actually improve the quality of one's life in anticipation of what is coming in the future. You know, but that statement sort of like holds true for me that where you are, your current circumstance is a direct correlation of what you focus your time and energy on. If you focus your time and energy on playing games, you're going to get played. If you focus your time and energy on trying to come up with ideas and solutions for a better tomorrow for yourself, that's what would happen. That would be the result. Of if you focus your time and energy on hoping things would improve and not doing anything, then hope is what you'll get. So basically it's the same old adage, what you put in is what you get out. You know, Crap in, crap out, good in, good out, up to us. And uh, that's kind of like what I was thinking about today. Yeah. So, uh, Sunday thought, uh, Sunday conversation. Well, thanks for your time. Wish you all a happy weekend. God bless.